Hey everyone, it's been nine years since Samsung released their first Galaxy S series phone, and they still have the lion's share of the Android market. We finally got the chance to take a look at some of their new S10 phones and see some of the new innovations and features. I'm Angie for GSM Arena, and these are some of the top features of the Samsung Galaxy S10 phones. There have been leaks aplenty, but there's nothing quite like the real thing. The horizontal camera setup on the back clearly is inspired by their previous Note devices, and you'll be able to choose from four colors – green, white, black, or blue. The front and backs of the phones are made of Gorilla Glass 6, except for the ceramic version of the Galaxy S10 Plus. They all still support wireless charging, and yeah, that includes both the regular variety and the new reverse wireless charging. On the bottom, you'll also find a headphone jack which bucks the current trend of removing it. On the front, you'll find a larger display in the same form factor, thinner bezels, and a new dual camera punch hole. This is the first HDR10 Plus certified display and Samsung's first dynamic AMOLED, which supposedly means improved color reproduction and better sunlight legibility. For all but the S10e, Samsung has ditched the regular fingerprint reader and included an ultrasonic under-display reader on the front of the phone. This actually reads the 3D contours of your fingerprint, unlike other current in-display readers. They've also replaced the iris scanner with less secure 2D face recognition, which might be a little faster. Both the S10 and the S10 Plus have larger batteries than their predecessors, so we're hoping for much better endurance all around. The Galaxy S10 phones are some of the first devices out there with the 7 nanometer Snapdragon 855 chipsets, and obviously they're the first with the 8 nanometer Exynos 9820. Samsung has overhauled their software and replaced it with something they're calling One UI. It's much more refined than their previous iterations, and there are some things you'll notice right away, like the new icons, the gestures, and the larger text headings that are easier to reach. However, this is Samsung, which means there's a lot more than that, and it'll take some time for us to go through all the features and changes. The Galaxy S10 phones include a new triple camera setup with a new ultra-wide lens, the familiar telephoto camera, and the main variable aperture camera. Samsung is promising improved camera software processing too, including new super steady video stabilization. There's a regular 10 megapixel selfie camera and an 8 megapixel depth sensor. The phone supports a normal and a wide mode, so you'll be able to fit more people in your shots. With the Galaxy S10 series, Samsung has included a lot of new stuff. Which makes sense, it's the tick and the talk cycle, so this is the tick of innovation. We haven't even covered the 5G phone or the full extent of what the cameras are capable of. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and we'll try to cover them in the full reviews. Subscribe so you don't miss them, and I'll see you next time.